Hey guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we're gonna be cooking croissant French toast. Oh yes, croissant French toast. Guess the French came up with it, but whatever. All right, so I'll show you guys what I have. I have uh, four packs of the large croissants from Publix. We love these, they're always so good and fresh. It's the really large croissants, two in the pack. Uh, so I have, as you guys can see, I have four packs of those. I've got some leftover Oscar Mayer bacon, thick cut bacon, because y'all know we don't do nothing skin tea over here, thick cut bacon. And I have some jumbo eggs. That's pretty much it. For, I'm just going to have the croissant French toast with some bacon on the side. And over here I have my cinnamon, ground cinnamon, uh, sugar, vanilla, and I have some powdered sugar. And you guys will see why I have the vanilla and everything. So, let's get into this breakfast. Okay, guys, I'm back. I started slicing the croissants and I said, oh, I forgot to cut the camera on. Anyway, so I've got the bacon. I cut my bacon in half and trade it up. It's in the oven. You guys didn't need to see that. Just put your bacon in the oven. All right, now, as far as our croissants, I am slicing the croissants in half. Just like that. So you got the bottom and you got the top. That's how I'm gonna do it. So I just wanted to come and show you guys how I'm slicing these up on my cutting board. Just cutting it straight across. And oh, also I forgot to tell you guys, I had the croissants in the refrigerator. I kept them in the refrigerator overnight. That way the croissants get nice and cold, you know, and they get a little hard from being in the uh, refrigerator. Um, so that way when I put them in the egg mix, you know, they don't fall apart. Just a little trick I learned. So, just cutting these in half. I'm cutting it in half straight across. Getting my two pieces. Okay, I've got eight of these. I just wanted to come and show you guys how I'm slicing them. It doesn't matter which side, you know, we're cutting it straight across. I'm telling you guys, definitely putting it in a refrigerator um, makes a big difference. And you know what? You, I tried one time putting them in the freezer, uh, but that didn't work because they were like frozen and too hard. So. That's when I changed it to just putting it in the refrigerator. It works better. The refrigerator makes them nice and firm. Cause that whole freezer thing froze them. So that did not work for me. So putting them in the refrigerator is just as good. So, all right. Let's go ahead and finish getting these cut up. And then I'll be back to show you guys my, uh, the egg mix that I'm gonna be using for my French toast. Just a little something I made up, you know, over the years of cooking. You know, you learn little tricks, you learn little things, you know, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And... All right, so we've got all eight of our croissants all nicely sliced up. Isn't the croissant such a beautiful piece of bread? But all right, so we've got that all, all our croissants all cut up. So I'll be back to show you guys the egg mix that I'm gonna be using for the croissants. Okay guys, I'm back. I just wanted to come and show you guys my egg mix that I'm gonna be using for the uh, French toast, the croissant French toast. So, all right, so I've got a bowl. I like using this glass bowl, you know, cause I can just see things easier, you know. Uh, all right, so what I'm gonna do, of course, let me, okay, I've got a napkin right here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use, because these eggs are jumbo eggs, I'm gonna use about six of these eggs. Like I said, they're jumbo eggs, so. I'm gonna use about six of them. Uh, where am I 
gonna put these eggshells. Oh, hold on. I'll put them over there. All right, so. All right, so I've got one egg in there. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna do uh, six of these eggs because they're jumbo. That should be enough for our croissant. This is really going to be enough or not. Let me see. That's the thing. You always got to try to like, you know, calculate it perfectly with your eggs. Um, I've got a lot of French toast, especially with me cutting it in half. Uh, we had eight French toast. We cut them in half. We got 16 pieces. Hmm. Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit more eggs. I might end up doing all 12 of these eggs. I might do that. Let me see. Because mm. I've got a lot of French toast over there. And I like coating my French toast. I like, you know, having egg on my French toast. So, let's see. I'm going to crack one more. These are some huge eggs. Like, look at the size of that thing. They are definitely jumbo. Oh, that had two in it. Okay. All right, let me see if I think that is enough. Yeah, I think that should be enough for all that French toast over there. You know what, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna do all 12. I'm gonna do all 12. All 12 jumbo eggs. All right, so we've got all 12 of our eggs. Close that up, okay. So I've got all 12 of my eggs. Just the way it worked out, because I want to make sure I have enough eggs. I can always, whatever. Okay. All right, so my mix. This is what I do for my little quick French toast mix, just to give your French toast a little extra, you know? All right, so I've got my 12 eggs. Your eggs depend on, you know, how much French toast you're cooking. We've got a lot of French toast to cook. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, oh, let me go get my milk. Hold on. Lord. I've got my milk. We eat the milk. Okay. All right. All right, so I've got lactate milk because you guys know, if you guys know, you know, you've been watching my channel, you know, my family, we always getting into a fight with the milk and the milk always wins. So now we gotta do lactate. Y'all know what that means, lactose intolerant. Okay, anyway. Anyway, you all, so we're going to do, um, just giving you guys quick measurements, half a cup of milk, I'm doing half a cup of milk in here, half a cup of milk, all right, where is my top, all right, let's move that milk out the way, half a cup of milk, one tablespoon of sugar, One tablespoon of sugar. All right, one tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon min. Okay. Come on, cinnamon. Okay, a little messy, but one tablespoon of cinnamon. All right, and one tablespoon of vanilla. So that's your eggs, whatever amount of eggs you got. Half a cup of milk, one tablespoon of white sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and one tablespoon of vanilla. I mean, this is just a little bootleg mix I made up, y'all. I mean, so. Just a little bootleg mix I made up, you know, from my years of cooking, you know, and tweaking it. I used to just use a little milk and a little vanilla, but I started adding that cinnamon and sugar. Oh my goodness. I believe it's the little, what the restaurants be using. That's just what I believe, but mine tastes better than the restaurants. Let me get a fork. All right, got that washed off. 
and we're just gonna mix this. And this is the mix that we're gonna be using for our French toast. So you guys see how I made it. Let me repeat that. Uh, like I said, it usually just depends on how much um, you can use these measurements, you know, because this is about the average, you know, what you're going to fix when it's French toast, the amount of eggs you're going to use. Even if you use uh, six eggs, if you're making a small batch, you know, even if you're making like a small batch, you can still use these measurements. I've done it with just like six eggs. Half a cup of milk, one tablespoon of sugar, uh, that's white sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and one tablespoon of vanilla. Just a little quick little, it's, it's like a little sweet mix, you know, going to make that French toast, you know, give it a little sweet cinnamony taste cinnamony i know that's not a word but you guys know what i mean like i said just a little something i made up all right so mix that up real good make sure you got all your cinnamon in there make sure you you know mix it at the bottom where that sugar is sitting at down there y'all know sugar like to sit at the bottom so make sure you're taking your fork and you're scraping that bottom to get that sugar all mixed in with your eggs you know, like I said, it makes like a little sweet mix. You know, it makes the eggs taste a little sweet with that cinnamon and that sugar and that milk. Helps those eggs fluff up. All right. Give you a beautiful French toast. All right. Mix, 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 mix. Okay. All right, girl. Don't do too much, girl. Don't do too much. All right. Looks all nicely mixed to me. Got my bottom all scraped up. Looks good. Make sure you scrape across the top. Scrape across the top of your mix. All right. Okay, voila. And that is my egg mix for the French toast, guys. Let's get into this French toast. I'm going to go check on that bacon, and I'll be back showing you guys how we cook in this French toast. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've got my frying pan here. I do want to let you guys know I am using cooking oil, uh, vegetable oil. I am going to be using that for the French toast. The croissant is a little sensitive, so I like to use a little oil, not butter. Just works better for me. That's all I'm going to say. Use whatever you want, but the uh, oil works better for me. So I just put a little oil in my pan. All right, and let me bring over two croissants in the mix. Let me see if I can get this all in one shot. Maybe not. But, okay. Let me come out a little bit so you guys can see the mix. The mix. Whoa. Okay. All right. So, you guys see my mix. Sometimes your cinnamon kind of ends up floating at the top. Just take your fork and mix it back up. It's fine. So, you guys see I'm just going to take my French toast. Roll it around. That's why I put it in the bowl. Rolling it around. Make sure it gets nicely coated. And we're gonna put it face down. Roll it around like that. Just roll it around a couple times. Make sure it gets nicely coated. All right, and just shake that excess off. And voila, that is it. So, you guys saw how I did it. Let me zoom you guys in to the French toast. Give you guys a good angle. All right, and like I said, I use the oil because it, it cooks better. It makes that egg nice and brown, and it cooks that cinnamon, and just cooks everything into it so nicely. All right, and I've got my stove on a medium heat, just a medium high heat. When you're cooking eggs, you don't need high heat. And like I said, the oil is gonna help everything cook up so nice and lovely. And see how it's starting to form that outer crust layer around the croissant? Oh, I can smell the cinnamon. Oh, it smells so good. Mm mm mm. So good. Oh. I cannot wait to eat it. It is so good. And that mix, that egg mix we made, some, tastes so good. Right, let's see what we got going on underneath. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. If you guys could smell this cinnamon. Oh, oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, I got to take y'all in. Gotta take y'all into that. Tell me that is not beautiful. If you guys could smell, waiting for them to come out with smell-o-vision. Oh my goodness. Ugh. 
flat side. Now this side, you know, being the little, you know, the little top of the croissant, just kind of take your spatula and just press it down on the sides to make sure it gets cooked. But it'll get cooked. You ain't got to babysit it. It'll get cooked. And it does not take long for these, you know. If you want it with a little crunch, you cook it a little longer. We like that little extra crunch on the outside, so. Oh, look at that, guys. Let me cut my fan on. Let me show you guys that other side. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Put this one over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's it for the French toast, guys. Croissant French toast. Wasn't sure what to name it. It's croissants, and I'm making French toast out of it. So croissant French toast. Isn't that beautiful? Let me show you guys the bacon. My bacon is done. I don't want to make this a too long of a video. It's my bacon cut in half, guys. It's all nice and crispy. Yep. That's it, guys. That's it. That's easy. All right, guys, let me cut this down some. All right, guys, that's it. That's all. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha, guys. That's it. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. I wanted to give you guys the grand, grand finale, you know, of how everything came out. Uh, you guys see my bacon there, cut in half. Uh, I want to give you guys a really close-up look at that cinnamon buttermilk French toast uh, out of the croissants. Turned out amazing. They look amazing. And, of course, I want to show you guys me putting on that powdered sugar on the croissant. So... Okay, girl, don't do too much, girl. Don't do too much, but do too much. <laughs> you know, y'all know how I say, don't do too much, but do too much. So, yes, that is the croissants. French toast croissant. Let me take you guys in so you guys can get a really good look at how they came out. I'm telling you guys, they are beautiful. They smell so good. Oh, so, so good. Let me see if I can give you guys a close-up look at one of them. Uh, let me flip it over to the other side. Just going to flip it over just so you guys can get a close-up look of how it looks. I've got powdered sugar falling everywhere. But I just want to give you guys a close-up look at that French toast. Oh, my God. Lord, have mercy on our souls. Look at that. Oh, so good. The French toast croissants. I think I'll turn it on this side on that one so good guys all right y'all seen me do it signing out again y'all seen me do it so you know i did it this is arika misha thank you guys so much for your love and support don't forget to like comment share subscribe follow me on all my social media that's instagram facebook and youtube of course at arika misha thanks guys